Welcome to this week's edition of the Contact Center World Industry Roundup, presented by Raj Wadwani. In this week's edition, the latest regional industry news, upcoming events. We share some great tips for your contact center. Welcome to the Industry News Roundup. We will share news from around the industry, starting with news from the Americas region. Please remember, this is just a small summary of the news we post every working day. Visit contactcentralworld.com for full details on these and lots of other news stories. In Brazil, Telefonica Brazil has been fined for outsourcing. In the United States of America, i a provider of business process outsourcing, is seeking 160 customer service agents in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Shocking news that LA call center firm VXI Global Solutions is being sued by the US government for sexual harassment. Help coming for customers as preferred one pours out of MN Shaw. NFL has made a long-term commitment to fund Austin-based domestic violence hotline. Cytel to hire 100 new associates at its Las Vegas facility. Data Exchange hiring 250 new employees in Tulsa. Apple customer service hit by massive traffic spike on launch day, leaving Apple fans on hold. In Canada, HGS, a business process outsourcer, announced it will be opening a new call centre in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Now on to some news from Europe, Middle East and Africa. In Ghana, Africa World Airlines is set to improve customer experience with onboard survey tools. In the United Kingdom, Dogs Trust, a dog welfare charity, selects Echo for National Microchip Helpline as part of a drive for every dog to be microchipped. The Royal Mail delivers up to 450 Christmas jobs at Etruria Call Centre. The BBC is reporting that frustrated customers can be kept waiting for almost an hour to get through to energy firm helplines. 50 new jobs created at Rescue Call Centre in Hull. In Northern Ireland, 300 working at new call centre in Derry. Jobs at risk as Thompson and First Choice to close Coventry call centre. News from the Asia-Pacific region. The Australian Trucking Association is introducing a new helpline for stressed truckies. In Fiji, MindPearl expands its outsourcing relationship with Brussels Airlines. In New Delhi, India, the government is set to launch a national helpline for disasters. In Japan, Transcosmos has added new services to its emergency call centre service. In the Philippines, the Philippines' booming outsourcing industry now employs a record 1 million people. And don't forget the 2015 Top Ranked Performer Awards are now open. These have been likened to the Olympics for the contact centre world and allow centres to compete, benchmark and also learn what others are doing through best practice sharing conferences. Find out more on contactcentreworld.com under the awards tab. Upcoming industry events. The main event of the year is the 2014 top ranking performers in the contact centre world global conference. We only have a few places left so if you're interested find out more today on our website. This week we've also published several great tips on technology, competitors, analysis, live agents, outsourcing, email and strategies. My favourite is this one. Competitors. Call them, visit their website, send them an email and see how quickly they respond, benchmark against them. We explain more in the tips you can find on contactcentreworld.com as well as hundreds of other daily tips. Thank you for watching this week's Industry Roundup. My name is Raj Rudwani and I'll see you soon.